it's back! I heard, Peter. I heard! Kids! Kids, it's happening! Get your coats! This is what we practiced for! Yeah! <laughs> I love you, Dad! I love you too, sweetheart! None of the past matters! This video is purely made for entertainment purposes only and not to be taken seriously. If you're easily offended, then leave the video now and go watch some other shit to get pissed off at. Alright, let's fucking do this. I'm gonna tell you this right now, Jargo. When the great Waddle is in the double. You're not gonna put over Master fucking Waddle, are you right now? Seriously? Oh, no. <laughs> no, when Master Waddle said the great Waddle, when the Master Waddle, when he's in the WWE as the great Waddle, <laughs> when he's selling fucking merch, and he's selling all types of freaking, uh, 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 uh what do you call it? Wizard sticks and, 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 and types of ears to the American children, I'm gonna tell you I was right. This guy is funny. I, I look forward to when that day never comes. His shirt will have, it'll have, it'll have like bobble eyes on it. The eyes looking in different directions. Right, and right, yeah. right. He's gonna, he, he's gonna hit America with the largest sound, man. This dude's gonna have Disney. Are cartoons. you saying? Are you saying he's gonna be the Japanese Shawn Michaels? <laughs> I'm saying this dude is money, okay? He's gonna he's for the kids, all right? He's gonna be, oh, fuck. He's gonna be the smart sellers to the children that the world has ever seen. Ain't I'm nobody not... buying that shit, man. This is the Ain't sick nobody combat. buying that. Retribution has grown on the perspective of oh, all you God. AEW Mark Hards, man. I'm saying it right now. They're way better than Dark Lord. I don't know what the hell y'all see. T-Bar? What the fuck? Slapjack? A Reckoning? A-Bone? I don't care whatever y'all say. Retribution is good, man. They're way better than those minions of dark of the dark order. I don't care. I don't care. And I ain't trolling here, Jimmy T. I ain't trolling, Donnie. I ain't trolling. Really, nigga? Do you see Montez being as big a star as I always seem to think he is? No. No? no. What's wrong with Montez I don't, for? I don't. I don't see it with Velveteen Dream either. And before I hear A-Track Brown screaming at me that I'm a freaking racist because I don't like Montez well, Ford and I mean, Velveteen Dream. You are a freaking racist. I mean. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. Here. Listen, I, I know the IWC, a lot of the IWC is a big, our big uh, CM Punk marks, but a lot of them are coming around and seeing the real color of this dude because uh, he, he's, he's hard to deal with, man. And we don't, we're not even cool with him like that at all, actually. He's... And he's hard to deal with. He's a difficult dude to deal with, and people don't like him because he comes off as a dick. So I, I have only to assume that he is a dick. And uh, I would love to see him walk into UFC and get his ass whooped. And, and yes, I am going to pay $50 or whatever it is when he's, when he's ready to fight. And people are going to be like, oh, but if you hate, if you hate CM Punk so much, why are you going to pay for it? I'm paying to see him get his ass whooped, okay? That's why I'm paying for it. If he wins, good for him. I want to see him get his ass whooped. And this I kind of solidifies that if he got in there with anyone else other than the person that Dana White is going to handpick, that guy was going to get in CM Punk's ass. You know, people don't understand The Fiend and Alexa Bliss. You know, this is one of the best storylines that the WWE has been telling yeah. about Alexa Bliss over the years. Over the... No, no. Don't give me that look, Jack. Don't give me that. Don't give me that look. You don't watch you don't, you don't watch you don't watch the shows weekly. I do. I watch the shows weekly. See, now you're laughing because you know it's true. I watch the shows weekly. And if people before you go on your Solomon Monster page, before you go on the hustle page and leave your little you know, trolling of comments here, if you watched it like the professor has, you've seen the de evolution of Alexa Bliss's character. She's been possessed from Last year to this year, it's been night and day. What started out as uncontrollable uh, possession, she tried to you know, hold on to something that was Alexa Bliss. Now she's bit in a deep realm, like like Rosemary. Like you've been saying, Track, right? Bruh. She said it was like Rosemary. I'm not saying she's acting like Rosemary, but she's in, the, she's in a dark realm place. And now it's her. It's the... Like you said, with, with Black and, and the reactions and the tributes, <laughs> students trying to become the teacher. She's the evil force that's trying to eradicate the fiend. You're not seeing this. She's gonna, she's gonna get somebody from Raw Underground 
to, to come in and take out the fiend. She's going to possess some wrestlers. She might possess the Elias. She might possess Jason Riker. Hell, she might even possess <laughs> Who knows? But she's going to possess another wrestler to take out the fiend. You know what? It's going to be a different feud right now. Uh, it's going to be Alexa Playhouse. Get him, Mike. Get him. Just get him. Um, were you smoking a crack before this show started? What the hell are you, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, this I like this. The Alexa Bliss storyline. Alexa Bliss, I couldn't take seriously as, as a demonic character, right? This is, as he reminded me of the uh, one of those Disney movie the villains that, that like, for animated movies. The fucking not shit. <laughs> the problem with Master Wado for me is he's a fucking idiot. Like, to me, that is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, because like there was a point in this match, right, where Taguchi has oh. like fucking Kanemaru clearly pinned, right, yeah. and yeah. Wano is standing in the ring. Let's do something, <laughs> and all of a sudden Desperado comes in and just yeah. makes the save. He doesn't do it, and at it's all. like Wano, you fucking idiot! Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> You know what I yeah, mean? Like, it's like, no like, vision or anything like. You blew it! <laughs> right! <laughs> you know? And they're like, oh, the inexperience of Master Watto showing. Yeah. And I'm like, no, he's a fucking idiot! The only thing that would have made that better would have been like to have like Mitchell Cole trying to sell that. Oh. That would have been fucking fantastic. And it's just, it's the little shit like that that I'm just yeah. like, God damn it, A-Track Black. I want to like this kid, but... He's a fucking idiot. That moment uh, uh, you mentioned, that was so, that that reminded Ugh. me of like Bobby Heenan saying that Marty Jannetty tried to drive, dive through the window to escape. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's just that reminded me. I was like, oh, well, he didn't quite get that there. I'm like, no shit. Look at the way UFC is doing this. I mean, this is the arrogance of UFC. It's almost WWE-like. I mean, they're doing, Dana White's doing a show, and he's really like disrespecting Bellator. He's disrespecting any other, uh, you know, MMA type of leagues just to do a show. Well, he's not disrespecting Bellator because Bellator ain't above that shit. But go ahead. No, but you know what I mean. It's just the arrogance of saying, well, UFC is the shit. We're number one. We can do whatever the fuck we want. We can have a show and pick anybody off the street to fight CM Punk. And the fans are going to be stupid enough to pay 60 bucks to watch CM Punk win against a C-plus fighter. That's are you, it. Are you calling me stupid? No, I'm not calling you stupid, but you I, said, I think... You said the fans are going to be stupid enough to pay 60 bucks. I just said I was going to pay 60 bucks. I think you're calling me stupid. No, I, I think A-track, I'm, call, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, call, I'm calling you... I'm fan. calling you gullible. You're gullible. What'd you say, A-Track? I said I think he's saying you're not a fan. Not a fan of what? Of UFC. I think he's saying I'm stupid. I think he's saying you're stupid and you're not a fan. All right, so we agree. <laughs> you go get the motherfucker. Yeah, you know what? I'm going up to Bombay, New Jersey tonight. And I'm going to whip you like that dude's going to whip CM Punk at 200 for free, too. And I- I'm not going to give you the 60 bucks so you can buy the pay-per-view later. You're going to suffer twice. <laughs> hey, Trek Brown, anything to say to racist, sexist, Hulk Hogan? Yeah, fuck you. Oh, Jesus, why? <laughs> well, you, you don't, come on, this is a guest of ours. He's been coming on forever. Be nice to him. Oh, this is why, this is why me and Nate Trek are boys. <laughs> he's racist and he's sexist. What the hell do you want from me? Well, let me tell you something, dude. I've been doing this show for a very long time, brother. And the only black dude that I'm t- relatively cool with is a track brown, brother. a track brown, brother. You're not black, are you, brother? Nice. Right, dude? I'm, I'm maroon, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Just to let you know. Hey, track black, what, 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 defend Master Wano if you dare. Yes, please. I ain't defending shit. This this guy. <laughs> this, this fucking guy. I. <laughs> if you guys saw my video, my my period of West Kingdom, I made it like a two minute rant on this guy. I know you didn't even talk about the, the match. I just just rant, rant about this guy. This this fucking Master Smurf blue balls motherfucker. This guy cannot get over this damn gimmick. I mean, I'm sorry. He can he can yeah he he can wrestle, but. This this guy cannot save his his fucking life with this uh this gimmick. This, this no. he is the the West Abusion of New Japan. I mean he got, he's a good wrestler, wow. but but the, the gimmick fucking sucks. I gotta say that to, to the day he get gets rid of it.
that's that's the only way you gotta save them. With the get with the damn gimmick and he joins Elijah uh, or joins freaking any kind of any kind of faction except for Bullet Club because they already have enough fact members as it is. But but this guy Master Auto fucking sucks. The Ash Clowns good good fucking tag team name because these are all the Ash Clowns and you might as well just call this change this, this guy's name to Master Smurf, Master Blue Balls, whatever the fuck. Master, Master, Master Waddles. <laughs> Master Waddles can go to hell. The dream entrance is what we're all going to be talking about, right? I mean that. They, they played the fucking Mounties music. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they the, the Mounties music. It's the Mounties. They played the Mounties. I, I, I couldn't believe that they actually played the Mountie music, and then they come out with those stupid Raptors dancers. Um, hey, Toronto. Hey, WWE. Newsflash. Kawhi left your ass. Got out of there faster than he fucking could, man. He went to L.A., he's sitting in there underneath a palm tree, soaking up the sunshine, and all you motherfuckers, yeah, we're world champs, bullshit, without number two, you ain't shit, and you know it, you're gonna be like sixth in the freaking East, which is awful, you don't even have to be 500 to finish sixth in the freaking East. Damn, man, why you gotta, why? Why you gotta hate? Why you gotta hate on the fucking, Raptors? Fucking Canada. Uh, they keep this shit up. They're never going to be a you know state. What? I can't blame you for dumping on Canada. I just feel like, hey, yeah, you know what? People don't want to go play in Toronto because it's in Canada. It's bad enough as it is. Let them let them enjoy their championship. And, yeah. it, and to my knowledge, their Kawhi Leonard did not leave the Raptors because of the Raptors dancers, so I don't fully understand the correlation. Well, no, they're, they're, I'm they're just... <laughs> I'm fucking with you. As far as the match goes. <laughs> fuck this as far match. As the match. Fuck goes. Toronto. Fuck the dancers. Fuck Kawhi Leonard, too. Sorry. The inner circle come out. And uh, speaking of things that we've said on this show in the past, Jimmy, what am I about to say about everybody in the fucking front row? Do you really want me to get started? You're fired. These okay, motherfuckers are singing face, these songs, bro. If you're a face <laughs> and you're being paid by this company and you're singing this goddamn fucking song at the top of your lungs, in spite of the fact that it's the theme song of a heel who literally walked out with a baseball bat, you're fired, okay? Uh, gun club, you're fired. Yeah, Liberian Beach, fuck home. fired. <laughs> yeah. No, listen. Blue fucking pants. Out of here. The, the librarian guy, it's fine. He's a heel. He can he can sing along to the heel fucking thing, and he can, you know. And the crowd can do whatever the fuck they want. I'm a big proponent to that. But if you're a face and you're being paid to be there, and you've had segments in the past where you're trying to fight off the inner circle, but you're singing Judas at the top of your fucking lungs, you're fired. You go the fuck home. You figure out how to act first. Then maybe if you can wrestle, you can come back. This pisses me off every fucking time. And I love Judas. That fucking, that song gets me fucking hyped every time. I'd be one of the fucking people in the crowd singing it. But I am not getting paid, and I'm not a fucking face for this company. I have to go back, because I saw this sister. She had rainbow hair and a blue shirt in the biggest set of fucking tickets I've ever seen on live television since the goddamn 90s. Like, I have to go back and watch this, because I, I got to rewind. Who was the sister got, with the rainbow yeah. wig, the blue shirt, and the hooters that would not quit? I was like, hooters, hooters, yum, yum, yum. Hooters, hooters are the girls that's dumb. Because dumb shits was popping out her shirt. That distracted oh, me from shit. everything. I was like, Judas in my mind, titties in my face. <laughs> and I was I was looking at those titties like, I'm come, I'm come, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. This is when you know we're going to hell. This is the beginning of Kevin Owens quitting, re-signing with NXT, Starting the army, leading Uncle Paul's black and yellow army up to the main roster and lighting everything on fire. I'm going Midnight Rider. Ooh. Do you remember the Midnight Rider angle? Dude, that would be fucking awesome. Yes. Wouldn't that be gold? That Just would be absolute really good. gold. I want to see Kevin Owens come back as El Generico. I want to see yes. Kevin Owens come back as Mr. Wrestling 4 because Steve Carino, his mentor, was Mr. Wrestling 3. Yeah. Like, we could do... I want to see him come back as Rey Mysterio. Okay. I want to see him in a mm. Juventud Guerrera mask. <laughs> El like, Vagabondo. I, I wanna see, Can we have him fight, come back and fight uh, Elias as El Vagabondo? Uh, I, I think it would be hilarious to see him in a La Sombra mask. 
he can uh, come out in blackface and throw pancakes around. Oh no, that's not I want to see him. That's not gonna work. I want to see him come out seeing I'm the racist, right? Uh. I understood why they did what they did with um. Why they did what they did with, with Jericho and Guevara, why they broke them up, because that was when he had got caught saying that controversial shit. And right. let's be real, you can't call, you can't go with the team lace sex gods when the dude is talking about Raja <laughs> Pick. So I got, I, I kind of understood that. And I think, you know, for a while, Guevara was being a little bit punished for that. But LA is oh, he's a good man. Yeah, but I know, but it's it still, I understood, I understood why they kept him off TV. No, I get you. Listen, yeah. It was years ago, and even I had to say, get this dude off TV. Okay, get, fair enough, I was man. saying, I, I didn't say fire him, but you had, no, yeah. you, had, you had to consider him home for a while, because it was like, dude, you didn't, you didn't say an innuendo. You should have yeah, said you nah, wanted nah, to nah. What the fuck is wrong <laughs> with you, man? Are you, listen. <laughs> Far be it for me to say anything, but when you got me saying, nigga, <laughs> you should be, yo, something's up. Yo, hey, Drag Black, is these niggas beating us in these mean streets? Hell no. Professor, are we getting beat in these mean streets? Hell to the nah. Not in these mean streets, motherfucker. We out of here. Jeez, I'm gonna fucking smoke my weed and I'm gonna fucking get drunk tonight, man. Fuck all that bullshit. I got some bourbon. Hell yeah, and I got my nice yellow hustle shirt. You know, you can get this at Burlington Co Factory. <laughs> $7.99. Trans wealthy in this motherfucker. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm really drunk. <laughs> Look at Megan on the fucking couch. <laughs> Her fucking ass is gonna stay there. And as soon as I turn off this camera, she's gonna fucking come over here and start asking for something to eat. Fucking shit. I already gave her a can of food. Alright, we out of here. <laughs> Jeez. Properly trained. Yo, know, A-Track, this goes to the fucking greatest, you know, the greatest hits, the outtakes or whatever. It's just, this goes there. <laughs>